So what I've got here is a uh, Nokia Lumia 830 and then the newer Microsoft Lumia 950 with the ever fetching Mozobat cover and uh, using glance on this one. And then I have uh, the 950 XL. Uh, just kind of interested to see which one boots up faster. So what I'm going to do is plug them all in, turn them all off, uh, then kill the power, reinstate the power, they should all turn on at the same time. Uh, that's the theory, she says. So that's USB, T1, whatever it is. 830. Uh, we have C connectors for the two Microsoft handsets. I've grown to really like the Bing uh, lock screen stuff. Um, right, so now I'm just going to power them all off and hopefully they'll stay off uh, despite being plugged in. See what I mean? Let's turn that fellow off. This one. We have. Well, so they are just going to turn back on. So let's kill that power. See, that power is now off. And so they should actually stay off. So now, of course, I've got to wait for this one to finish booting before I can turn it off again. <coughs> Excuse me. They are off now, right? Jesus. Right, so let's turn this one off again. Bye. Just give that a few moments to shut down. Power over there is off. Are you sure it's taking this one so long to shut down? He's still got his lights on. Nobody's home. Oh, there we go. So it looks to me like they're all off. Power is off. Let's um, put the power on. See how we go. So not too bad really, at all about the same. Well, that's kind of surprising. I thought the 830 would uh, be much slower, but the 950XL just about pipped the 950, which just about pipped the 830. So there you go. Seems like the 830 is uh, still a quite a capable device for running Windows 10 Mobile. Until next time. Catch you later.